Today we are going to create a 3D model from a single image in just a few steps. And if you are thinking that if it is just a few click process then why this video is this long? It's because these steps should be done really wisely to get a good result. So I'm so excited to create a 3D model of our favorite Blender Guru. So huge respect to this man and now let's get started. So first of all, we would need an HD photo of Blender Guru. So what I did is simply I searched Googled. So I found a few photos, but there is a problem. We need a static image of that person, but all of the Blender Guru pictures that I found was not static. And it's in this kind of pose. So what I did is that I messaged Blender Guru to send me some HD photos so I can create a 3D model of him. And here is what happened. Blender Guru didn't respond. But I didn't give up and I start messaging him on ArtStation Facebook, his website, email and everything. And then finally, I didn't get any reply. Wait a minute, who are you? So I started searching again and this time I found a Blender Guru podcast from where I can take a screenshot. And then after a lot of struggle, I find a place where Blender Guru is in static pose and finally I can take a screenshot of it. So now there is only two problems with this photo. The number one is that it has this mic. So we have to remove this mic in any 2D software like Photoshop or GIMP. And now the only problem is that this photo is very low res, so that's why we can get some high quality textures. So for that reason, we have to upscale this image. So there are a lot of options for this. Uh, there, uh, there is a software for it, but we will do a quick thing with a website. So let's just do that. So now we have a better photo and now we can actually create our 3D model. So we just have to come up to this website. I will give a link in the description of this website and you can check that. And it's totally free website, nothing charges and just you have to sign up with this. So let's do that. So I browse the photo and now what we have to do is to click on mail and then just click on generate and this will now automatically create a 3D model according to this image. Okay, so it will generate in a while and until that you can hit a like and subscribe for support. So let's do that. And we are done finally. And look at this, this quality It's totally free website and this is creating a really good quality and yeah. We are so happy with it. I'm so excited to just work more on it and let's create the final look of Blender Guru. So what we have to do now is to export this character from this website and import it into Blender and do some quick things to make it more like Blender Guru. And we can just click, come up here and click on this export setting. And now this will export our avatar as an fbx and then we can import it into blender so here we are at the blender and now what i will do is that select all and then delete that and then f4 and then import fbx and now we will drag that fbx here and we will click on import as with the default setting and now here we have our character if i just come up here as you can see it's looking like this just come up here to the shader quick and i found that it always have this problem that um, it actually add the metallic i don't know why but what we have to do is to select every single thing individually and then decrease the metallic and make this one to 0.15 and let's have some specular 
and we have to do the same things for the hands uh, let's make this 1.5 and let's keep the specular to about like this so do the same things for the clothes as we don't have any metallic thing there so nothing that kind of thing needed so yeah and now what we have to do is that uh, in the most of the pictures blender blender guru have the black shirt so what we have to do is to change the color and let me show you how quickly you can do that just come up here to the textures and now select this textures and come up here to the um, texture pen settings and here we have to come up here to the fill setting and X to just change this color make sure to pick a black color and now we will actually multiply this thing but before that just right click and uh, press L to just select this one and delete that and now press L to select the shirt and we will mask it up here by just clicking on this mask icon and now if I just click it will feel like this uh, let me just reduce the strain to about 0.8 and try it and yeah that's pretty much it for this one now we will save this image and now what we have to do is to open up this texture at any of the 2D uh, software like Photoshop or GIMP and then we have to add the polygon logo for that. Uh, if you are not creating the exact same model that I am creating which is the Blender Guru one so what you can do actually is that you can edit your texture as you want it or if not you can just skip this part but what I did is that I added a polygon logo at the shirt like this and now uh, okay so now we will just select that texture and open it up and it's looking like this which is cool and now we can do some quick pose so let me just turn on the X mirror to do some quick things so here I will do some quick lighting with the cycle Okay, one more thing that I want to tell is that it gives all the shape keys so you can create your expression really easily or if you want you can create your own expression as I did the blender guru one just real quick and here we have everything that we wanted. So I think it's amazing to uh, get this kind of result with a completely free website and with blender. So uh, hope you like this video and if you like you can give a thumbs up and add a comment for your support so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video